Jordan it is who takes the first of the gold medals. Last week, Australian swimmer Mac Horton made global headlines for refusing to share a podium with Chinese swimmer Sun Yang because of an allegation of doping. I just won't share a podium with someone who behaves in the way that they have. Swimming Australia supported Horton's protest, but on Saturday, a doping scandal of its own became public. It's the revelation that's left our athletes red-faced on the world sporting stage. 20-year-old Shana Jack tested positive to a banned substance, which Swimming Australia kept under wraps for two weeks. But maintains its lack of transparency was not a cover-up. Swimming Australia says it was legally obliged to keep the result secret and it is not inconsistent with Horton's protest. Horton's stance on, on zero tolerance uh, for, for drugs in his sport is exactly the stance that we take. Shana Jack says she did not cheat and will fight to clear her name. Her reputation and Swimming Australia's is on the line. Phil Stoneman, uh, when did you last speak to Shana and how's she feeling? Uh, we're speaking to her pretty well every two or three hours. Um, how's she feeling? Uh, I guess numb at the moment. I guess that's probably the way to describe it. It's, uh, uh, it's not every day that you wake up in the morning and see your, uh, your face on uh, major metropolitan newspapers and lead stories in, on networks. It's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, a, it's a tough situation for a, a young 20-year-old to have to, to deal with, and uh, particularly when uh, it's no fault of her own, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's, uh, she's heartbroken and incredibly vulnerable, you might say, at the moment. I suppose she's had some time to sort of get her head around it since, she's, uh, since she had to come home from the meet. Um, how braced was she for that second test result? Uh, she was hoping. It was. I mean, if she talks about being a nightmare. She was um, really hoping that it would come back as uh, as negative, and she could get back onto the plane and fly over to the team. But you know, at the same time, she sort of she also steeled herself the fact that it could be positive, and it was. And um, that was uh, that was a yeah. It's a, that's a tough old. That's a tough. That was a t very very tough period of her life. So, what are the next steps now? What can she do about this? So she has a meeting with Asada, which is on Friday, um, and we still we still don't know exactly what uh, what questions will be asked for her in that meeting. So that's unfolding, um, uh, but that's where she will be told about the levels of uh, of this particular drug that's in her system, and uh, she'll be asked questions, and she'll uh, she'll um, she'll get more information, um, and then we'll I guess. We'll know what we're actually dealing with at the moment. It's, um, it's, you know, it's still only 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 eighty percent of the story. Um, so we need to get the whole lot, and that'll come on Friday. You've presumably had to become something of an instant expert on legandrol. What have you learned about it? Well, I haven't, uh, because <laughs> my my thoughts are there are a thousand people that are going to know this product so much better than what I do. Uh, but what I do know. Um, I do know it shouldn't be in there, and I do know that it's a performance, it's a steroid, and, um, and how it got into her body um, is, uh, is what we're going to try and find out. Um, but it's, uh, you know, we believe it's a contamination, we believe it's certainly not a supplement that she's taken. Uh, it could be anything, it could be, and I'm sure you'll have experts that will talk to this, but it could have been from, a, uh, from some food, it could have been from a water bottle. Uh, we don't know, and it's probably not my right to speculate on that, and certainly Shana doesn't know either. Well, professional sports and doping are now such forensically monitored areas. Uh, every training regime and literally everything that goes into an athlete's body is so closely monitored. Can you understand why people would be so perplexed about how something could happen like this? Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, there's no question about um, the... the uh, uh, that people are going to be looking at Shana and, 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 and saying, how did you let this product get into your body? Uh, when she started swimming as a 10-year-old, she was taught to understand what goes into her body. She understands the rules. She understands the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the products that are prohibited. Um, she walks this every day of her life, um, and, for, and she is careful. And for this to now come into her body, as someone who is an advocate for clean sports, 
and who would have stood behind uh, with Mac in relation to his um, personal protest. Um, and now she finds that she's actually the one that's, uh, that's potentially going to be tainted. Uh, that's a very, very difficult situation for, uh, for a 20-year-old to, to have to deal with. Well, there's been a lot of criticism of the decision not to announce the first positive test. Was that her decision or assuming Australia's decision or did the two influence each other? Or? Oh, look, I, I think they're independent of each other. I, I, from Shana's point of view, she didn't want to say anything because she wanted that second test to come back as, as, as negative. Um, and if it was negative, well, then she was going to, you know, it was, it was then a, a, you know, there was something wrong with the A sample and I guess she, um, it would have been up to, I guess, Swim in Australia or to, to deal with that. But she would have been back on a plane, back in the team and, and swimming. Uh, we know that she's not guilty and we, we're doing everything we can to actually try and uh, get her... Um, this hearing out of the way and get her moving towards Tokyo because that's what it's all about for her. Well, thanks for talking to us tonight. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.